What's up everyone, Van der Tracker here. Today is the first day the Geneva International Motor Show is open to the public. So that means all the cars have been unveiled. And that in turn means my old top 10 is pretty much, well, irrelevant now. So I decided to make a new one. This is my new and improved top 10 on the cars I look forward to at this year's Geneva Motor Show. Number 10 we have Volkswagen with their electric beach buggy that looks like a fun little car to drive and to look at as well. It has an inviting styling that just says, hey, drive me, let's have some fun. Number 9 goes to Koenigsegg, who have a stunning car and one car that is a bit less good looking. The beautiful one is the all carbon Regera that looks absolutely gorgeous and you can see a lot of care went into the details. The other one is the Jesco, and although the technical prowess is staggering, I'm not that sold on the styling. I think the Agera that it replaces was a much better looking car to be honest. Coming in at number 8 is Aston Martin, with the AMR RB003, oh well, that was hard to pronounce, and the Vanquish Vision, which look very very similar. They are very very... words? English? They are very reminiscent of the Valkyrie. And that car looked absolutely stunning. I am stuck to sit in person on Monday, let me tell you. At number 7 is Bugatti's. So they moved up from the honorable mentions to the 7th spot on our list. And other than the 110th edition... And... English? This is going to be a long video. And other than the 110th year anniversary Chiron from last video, Bugatti unveiled La Voiture Noire. Literally translated to the black car. It is a one-off model that can't... It is a one-off model that costs 11 million euros. And that's without tax. But one simple look at the car and you will find it is quite an amazing piece of art. Not really a car for me personally. I still think it looks far better than the Jesco. I'll wait till Monday to make a final verdict on this car. Number six is going to McLaren and the 600LT Spider. The reason it's so low on this list is because it looks like a beefed up 570S more than anything from the outside list. But they have a 720S GT3 that is much, much more interesting. I also heard they had a speed tail, but that was moved to the VIP lounge, so I guess I'm not seeing that. At number 5 we have Peugeot, again with both the 508 Peugeot Sport Engineered and the E-Legend. The idea of Peugeot making great cars again is superb, and once again the neo retro styling of the E-Legend suits it very, very well. In 4th place we have Mansori, <laughs> oh yes, the Chiron Centuria is mental, absolutely mental. I think the forged carbon is a bit too widespread however, but other than that, the car looks totally bonkers, and I think the other cars are just as beautiful to look at as this one. Third place is once again taken by Ferrari, with their Fate Tributor. It looks like it's a blue one this time, which seems strange, as the red has always been a good color for Ferraris, but... Oh well. Coming in in second place is Pininfarina, with their supercar called the Batista. A 1900 horsepower electric monster, set out to release somewhere in 2020, and only 150 people will be able to get it, and only 150 people will be able to... <sighs> and only 150 people will be able to buy one for an undisclosed price. Well, that's a tongue twister. All in all, it's definitely a car I want to see. For this top 10, my honorable mentions are still the Sbarro prototypes, Miles and Renner, and I still plan on getting an interview with the guys that built it. BMW is still an honorable mention, and they will bring a production version called the M850i and a new 7 series called the 745e. And last but not least, Toyota with the Corolla GR Sport and Supra. And finally, we have Lamborghini with four cars, the Huracan, Coupe and Spider, Huracan Performante Spider and the Aventador SVJ. And if you guessed Spider, you would be correct. This ultimate Aventador looks bloody good. I think the aero is very well done and gives a very menacing and aggressive look that overall suits this car perfectly. So, that's it for my definitive top 10 cars for the Geneva Motor Show this year. If you liked this video, be sure to like, subscribe and comment on things I can improve and do better. I'm very open to suggestions, so feel free to submit some. Stay safe and keep on drifting. See ya!